In an explosion, the air blast shockwave is the primary damage mechanism and certainly enough to break your car into pieces, but that shockwave even though powerful would not be able to penetrate through a heavily armored vehicle, and this is why when anti-tank rockets detonate, they do something a little strange. This anti-tank rocket is likely already moving faster than the speed of sound, but notice what happens when it explodes, aside from the blast. Something much more significant is happening shooting forward at hypersonic speeds anywhere from 4 to 8 miles per second, and that can cut through the thick armor of a tank like its butter. But where that hypersonic jet of destruction comes from, what could be done to protect against it, and why that same jet is used in the design of nuclear bombs, is not what you think as soon as tanks entered the scene in World War I. Attempts to develop weapons that could penetrate through the tank's thick armor emerged early. Anti-tank rifles rely primarily on the kinetic energy of metal shells. To pierce through the armor to protect the tanks, thicker and more effective armor was added, and to pierce through the thicker armor anti-tank guns became increasingly heavier. This back-and-forth one-upping resulted in larger and heavier anti-tank guns that had to be mounted on wheels, and towed around making them unusable for infantry that was on foot realizing this restriction. Armies needed to come up with a human portable anti-tank weapon, music, during World War II. Soviets developed RPG-43, a handheld anti-tank grenade. Just to clarify a popular misconception. RPG does not stand for Rocket Propelled Grenade. RPG is a background the actual acronym stands for Roshnoi Pradovatenkovi Granita Mute, which means handheld anti-tank, grenade launcher. 43 could pierce through thick armor. The Soviets first had to solve a bigger problem being a hand-throned grenade, weighing about 3 pounds. Soldiers had to get dangerously close to tanks in order to throw the RPG-43. What was needed was a way to deliver the grenade from a distance. So the Soviets came up with a crossover between the American bazooka and the German Panzerfos. The bazooka was reloadable as opposed to the Panzerfast, which had a one-time use launcher. But Panzerfos's big advantage was that its warhead would sit outside the launch tube, as opposed to the bazooka, where the entire round had to be completely loaded into the launch. This would limit the size of the warhead that a bazooka could launch, and as you'll see the size is extremely important. Enter the Soviet RPG-7, the most widely used RPG in the world, which solved the problem with hand-thrown anti-tanker names, as it could now be launched from far away, music. But what was the difference between regular grenades and anti-tank grenades that allowed them to penetrate through the thick armor of tanks? A regular grenade is an explosive charge with a metal shell wrapped all around the shockwave. From the explosion tears the metal shell into pieces launching shrapnel in all directions, which could be fatal for those in proximity. But to penetrate through armor, something more surgical is required RPG rounds. Fall under a special type of explosive charge known as shape charges. Not so much the outer shape but the inner shape of the explosive charge inside both the hand-thrown RPG-43 and its rocket-propelled variant. There is a metal liner that forms a cone-shaped cavity. There are explosives packed behind the liner upon contact with the target. The charge is detonated which creates a pressure wave behind the metal liner. This in turn deforms a liner in a way that generates a forecast jet of metal particles that shoot straight out at hypersonic speeds. It's purely the kinetic energy of the jet not the shockwave from the detonation that penetrates the armor, the effective penetration depth of the jet is seven teams or more. The diameter of the shape charge, this is, why having the warhead mounted, outside of the launch to be gave, RPGs, a big advantage over bazookas, the RPGs larger, diameter. Warhead could cut through thicker armor once this hypersonic projectile hits the interior of the tank. It causes other devastation killing those in sight and possibly cooking off the tank, causing the ammunition inside to explode but shape charges have an Achilles heel. In 2017, the city of Marawi in the Philippines was a battleground for five months where government security forces